In this video, I will explain and demonstrate how to load the reference data in Salesforce Net Zero Cloud. Welcome to the channel Trailblazers. My name is Neeraja. I hope you will find this video helpful. Let us begin. Emissions factors are the factors used for calculation purposes. You want to convert your energy use record into carbon dioxide equivalent, right? You have, say, uh, electricity bill for a month and let us say the usage is 1000 kilowatt hours. Now you want this data to be converted into carbon dioxide equivalent, the CO2 equivalent. Now this involves calculation and the calculation is based on what emissions factors data set we use for the particular energy use rate. Net Zero Cloud supports emissions factors provided out of the box by Salesforce and it also has emissions factors or the reference data for purchase in the Net Zero Cloud marketplace. Let us upload these reference data sets in our org. Now this is my brand new org which is not pre-configured. Electricity factor sets. There is no data in this. Now we are going to load the reference data into our org. Set up in the quick find box, enter load reference data set. Now here you have all the reference data that can be uploaded in the org. Click on get emissions factors. Now follow these instructions so that you are redirected to the net zero cloud marketplace. This is the net zero cloud marketplace where you can purchase the reference data or you can use the free ones that are those are available out of the box from Salesforce. Now let us browse all these emission factors by category. Say electricity. Now how do you identify the free data sets? If there is a phrase called included with net zero cloud, it means that this data set is available out of the box and it can be directly used by uploading in the org. And then what does mapped to net zero cloud mean? It means the data set file is mapped to net zero cloud and is ready for upload. Now let us click on both and see what does it mean. So if I click this, it says it is you have to purchase. So when you add this to the cart and purchase it, then later you can use it to upload the data. The reference data into the org. Now if you go back you have to browse you will browse through all the emissions factors and select the one that you want to use. For example you are living in Germany then you are not going to use the emissions factor which is available for India right. So first you have to finalize what emissions factors are you using and then select accordingly. I'm going to use International Energy Agency, IEA 2023, which is included with the Net Zero Cloud. Click on this. Now this one, it is included and it is also mapped. So click on get it now. You get a message that your selection is available in Net Zero Cloud for loading. So you can go back and refresh. Okay, it shows two because I had already loaded some data and then deleted it. So this is the one I will use. International Energy, uh, the IEA 2023 release. Click on load data set. It takes a while and you are notified when the data set is loaded. Like this, you get a notification that your reference data set is loaded in the org. Now this was about electricity emissions factors. 
I want to also load the other emissions factor set. So I will again click on get emissions and and go to the marketplace. I'm going to select DEFRA for stationary fuel 2023. Again, this is included and mapped. So click on get it now. We are not purchasing anything. It is now available for loading. To close this one, refresh the page. Click on other emissions factor set. This is the one we want to load. Here we have, if you click on view versions, you can see the different versions if they are available and you can update the version if the one you have uploaded is not the latest one. So click on load data set. The process is now complete. We got a notification. Let us see how it looks in the org now. Yes, the electricity emissions factor set. This was empty when we started because, because there was no data in it. Now we have uploaded the IEA 2023 data set here. And you can see, you can see this uh, country wise. So if you click on maybe say Denmark, you'll find the link, the source link, and the emissions rate. Location based is 108.95. Market based is again 108.95. Now you can use this data set as it is, of course, when you agree that the factors used here are what you want to use for your calculations. If not, if your factors are different, depending on what data you get from the local authorities, you can obviously clone this data set, rename it in a sensible way, and make adjustments to the factors wherever relevant. And then the calculations will be based on the new factors, right? So this was about electricity and let us see if our other emissions have been loaded. Stationary fuel factors, DEFRA 2023, this is the one we loaded. We have now loaded the reference data for the electricity emissions factors and the other emissions factors. In similar fashion, you can load it for air travel emission factors, for hotel stay emission factors, etc. So that's a wrap for today. We have uploaded the reference data in the org. I hope this video was of value. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.